Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we're going from the 22nd of April up until the 27th to see if there's anything coming out this week that's worth your time and money. So which games are coming out for the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. Kicking us off then, and first is Fairy Fencer F Refrain Chord. This describes itself as a comedic RPG romp as you attempt to help a young man named Fang and his companions harness the power of song to resurrect a goddess. You'll be using a tactical RPG battle system, positioning your unit strategically and using terrain to your advantage, and the song part of the blurb alludes to members of your party named Muses who have the power to save people or brainwash them with their songs. There are multiple routes to take as well as hidden fairies, locations and treasures. I've heard of the Fairy Fencer games before but I didn't know they had a tactical RPG slant, unless of course they never have had before and this is a new feature for this sequel. Either way, this is out on the 25th and it will cost £44.99. Also releasing this week we have the final wave of Xenoblade Chronicle 3's expansion pass with Future Redeemed. This comes out on the 25th. This features a new story which takes place before the events of the main game and features a new protagonist called Matthew as well as series veterans Shulk and Rex returning. In order to get this you'll need to buy the expansion pass itself which is about £26.99 I believe or your regional equivalent and this will grant you access to the first three waves already released as well as this fourth wave. Blade. Following on from that is Trinity Trigger which is a JRPG inspired by the classics of the genre. This is actually an action RPG which looks to combine the look and feel of iconic RPGs of the 90s with a modern emphasis on fast paced customizable combat according to the blurb as you play as a young and burdened warrior of chaos on a course to battle the warrior of order. It goes on to say that you'll be solving puzzles and defeating monsters alone or with friends in local co-op, exploring biomes and making use of the weapon wheel in battle to switch between 8 different weapon types on the fly. At the time of making this video this is only showing on North American stores but hopefully it will release across the board on the same date, we'll have to wait and see. It's releasing on the 25th. We must remain ever vigilant. Relax, we can handle whatever comes our way. Let's be prepared for anything. Then we have Magical Drop 6 which as the number in the title suggests is a classic series that's been going for a while now and it's nice to see a new version of it even if the premise may be a little simple these days. You'll take on opponents in attempting to clear a number of coloured bubbles and there are 15 characters to choose from each with their own story. As well as this there are local and online multiplayer modes and 6 solo game modes. This is a series I have a lot of time for, I do really enjoy puzzle games, but I do wonder if the price of £26.99 will hinder it in this day and age, especially when you can buy at least parts 2 and 3 I know for sure are on the eShop via the Hamster Arcade Archives line for about £6. It's out on the 25th though if you are a fan of the series. Also this week we have Bramble the Mountain King which calls itself a grim adventure set in a world inspired by dark Nordic fables. You are on a quest to rescue your sister who has been kidnapped by a troll and will need to watch your step due to the many hungry and spiteful beasts that lurk in the forests and caves. You can call upon a gift called the Spark of Courage to defeat the creatures you'll encounter including epic scale boss battles according to the blurb. This sounds great actually and we're looking to have a video about this game out next week. It will sell for £31.49 or your regional equivalent when it does release on the 26th. Follow the light. You will find what you are searching for within the mountain. That 
Then we have Aliens Fireteam Elite, although allow me to quickly temper expectations by saying that this is a cloud release. This is a cooperative third person shooter set in the Alien universe and you'll be battling through hordes of different types of Xenomorph, leveling up and customising your gear as you progress. This came out elsewhere back in 2021 and received fairly favourable reviews, but as I said, this is a cloud version, which means it will be a no for me. There is a demo available, so you can obviously try the game, but also test your internet connection is sound, but if you are looking for a relatively similar experience that isn't cloud-based, then the recently released Remnant from the Ashes may be the way to go instead. Anyway, this will cost £25.99, but there is 10% off of this price up until launch, which is the 26th. The next release is Desta The Memories Between, which is described as a character-driven roguelite. It goes on to say that you'll experience the story of broken relationships, words left unsaid, and will explore dreams for answers. You'll explore the dream world every night, which will be filled with shattered remnants of locations past, memories of regret-filled relationships, and powerful orbs that can change the course of a conversation. You'll meet a cast of strange characters with exceptional abilities, each with their own story to tell about the connection to this world. It says that mature themes will be explored, and it's aimed to be accessible to players of all skill levels. It's another game out on the 26th, and it will cost £16.49 or your regional equivalent. The next release is Mugen Souls, which is an RPG that first released for the PlayStation 3 back in 2012. You play as Cho Cho, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, and her companions who are on a mission to conquer the seven worlds that make up the universe and turn the heroes and demon lords of each world into her personal servants. It features turn-based combat on a free-roaming battle map, and you can customise your minions in terms of their body parts, facial expressions and jobs. It seems as if this new version of the game is the uncensored version, I believe a few changes were made when the game was originally brought to the West, although having never played the game I'm afraid I can't give any more context than that. This is out on the 27th and it will cost £35.99. Next is Super Alloy Ranger, which is a 2D side-scrolling action game. You'll be using techniques such as mid-air dashes, wall climbing and double jumping to get through a number of stages and track down wanted criminals. There are two characters to choose between, each with a different playstyle, and you'll need to be at your best to beat the huge bosses that await you at the end of each stage. It cites Metal Slug and Mega Man as its inspirations, particularly in terms of its art style, and it's also out on the 27th, costing £13.49 or your regional equivalent. The penultimate game for the week is Nuclear Blaze, a 2D action game which comes from the creator of Dead Cells and is published by Red Art Games. You play as a firefighter who is airdropped into the middle of a mysterious burning facility with your mission being to contain the fire, investigate its cause and look for survivors. As well as the main game mode, there is a kids mode which offers levels designed specifically with a younger gamer in mind as well as an immortal hero and simplified controls. On top of this, there is a hold my beer mode, which adds hidden areas and new threats, which require a more tactical approach. I've said before that I've always really liked games based on the idea of firefighting, going all the way back to a couple of games from the Super Nintendo era, one of which actually is on the Switch Online Super Nintendo app. Anyway, we're hoping to have a review of this one next week. It will cost £13.49, but there is 10% available off of this price up until just before launch day, which is on the 28th. And finally for the week we have Manabo A Walk Through Life which calls itself a social simulation game where you walk the path of life while your turnip grows and thrives or not depending on its social relationships. 
You'll need to build your social circle by surrounding yourself with other turnips, and you can start a family and breed little turnips, living as you wish and assuming the consequences of your decisions when you rot. Now, I never usually read that much of the blurb, but this was just amazing. <laughs> it goes on to say that there are different hats that you can wear that grant different life perks too. Now, I wish I had an imagination half as vivid as some of these developers, I must say. Anyway, this is out on the 28th and it will cost £13.20 or your regional equivalent. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Do any of these games interest you? Will you be picking any of them up? Please do let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget if you are looking for eShop credit, you can buy your eShop cards via our website switchup.gg and we do now have that new reward system, loyalty system in place. Apologies it's taken a while, it's just been some kinks to iron out in terms of getting it all sorted but hopefully now it's here you'll definitely see the benefit of it. In a very similar vein to things like Costa or in my case Lego.com, every time you use our website to purchase your eShop credit you'll get yourself points back and of course over time these accumulate and you can then use those to purchase further credit. The more you spend the more points you'll earn and these of course are on top of the Nintendo points that you'll then get when you use that eShop card on the eShop, meaning that you're getting the benefits of two point schemes if you know what I mean. If you're looking to import any games, there's a link down there to Play Asia. Use the link down there, use the code STATED, and you can get yourself 5% off of your order. A quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members, of course, for your continued support, and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, and until next time, happy gaming.